Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. I'm Major Klanger. You join me today back at Airsoft Elite Glasgow. And today we're hot in the heels of a down, two downed pilots. Pilot, pilot this way. Here I'm counting. In this game, uh, two teams have been set to try and capture two hostile pilots. At the start of the game, the pilots got five minute head start on us and then had to set off a smoke. And then the two teams need to disable the right, pilots by shooting them and up, then taking them back to their base. We're probably about 10 15 minutes into the game, and the enemy team have captured the pilots. But we are hot on their trail and have. We're spreading out to attempt to ambush them. Spread out, spread out. To my right there is Hairy Chap. One. He's borrowing my G36 and I've uh, taken his uh, Chicago typewriter for this game. I'll tell you a bit more about how I got on with that in a bit. Completely a case of not seeing the wood for the trees there. The guy that took me out there was pretty much standing in the open, but I was looking straight through him and past him uh, to where I suspected the enemy would be. But fortunately, to my right is my other fellow teammate and uh, actually my good wife, uh, Tiny Clanger, and she's going to come up any moment. To medic me back in. In this game we have had th we got three lives and a 10 second medic tag. Medic? So you can hear the, the sounds of battle in the distance, uh, the, the fight for the pilots is quite a fierce one. So here comes Tiny to bring me back in the game. Again. Right, back they're moving the pilots down cover. the right hand side. So grabbing Hairy Trap, pulling him into cover to get him medic back in. We need everyone in the fight as long as we can. We're a long way from our own respawn. If you can't get medic in, then you can bleed out after two minutes. But we're right over the other side of the site, and we just can't afford for someone to be out of the game that long. It took me a little while to get used to this uh, Thompson. Uh, the difference between this and a and a modern rifle is, is quite noticeable. Uh, particularly there, you see me flicking between single and, and semi. Uh, on the G36, that's just instinctive, a thumb switch, but uh, on the Thompson here, it's, it's, it takes a little more getting used to. I did quite enjoy using the Thompson. It got, so it got a good rate of fire. The uh, drum mag perhaps isn't necessary to my liking if I was to if I was to personally go for a Thompson I might go for the army style with the, the stick mag but this is the Simon Thompson it's got a uh, pretty good rate of fire space for a nice large battery So again, trying to keep our guys in the fight as long as possible. Back 
back in. Right, they've got them quite far down this way. Yeah, we need to keep moving this way. So the enemy team have been taking the pilots we right down on the left hand Riley. side of the site. So we decide yep. to try and head them off between them and their uh, base, the point we're trying to get to them. So you join us a minute or so later when we've made our way down the site and we're setting up another ambush. 12 o'clock. The pilots are there. Some amazing shooting there from Barry. Uh, that must have been a good 200 foot. He took them out with a couple of clean shots. Just make out my target in the, the distance there. The enemy team are taking this very slowly. Moving through methodically, clearing out the clearing out us. Something I particularly enjoyed about this game: the size of the site meant that uh, there was ample opportunity for flanking and manoeuvring. We could really pick our spot for ambush, and the uh, other team were able to come round as well. So you were never entirely sure whether your flanks were secure. From my left I could hear that uh, Tiny's been hit. So again try to drag her around and get her back in the fight. Before I make it a green I just want to get a understand the situation, see where the fire is coming from and as soon as I pulled her you could hear the shots pulling off the barricade. We've been flanked here as well as the group of the pilots, another group of the enemy have come round on our left hand side. As soon as we pop out we're taking incoming fire, we're really stuck here. Both of us are on our last life. Uh, this could very well turn out to be a, a valiant last stand, Butch Cassidy and Sundance style. I've got at least one, maybe two contacts on my on the right. Tiny's reporting uh, one on her left. And to compound things. P90 is now out of ammo. So I hand over the 1911. Trying to coordinate fire to maximise our chances of taking someone out without being taken ourselves. But this is looking like it uh, is going to be a last stand. All they need to do is sweep around us and they're going to take us out. It's times like this you would love for a smoke grenade to clear to obscure your escape Batman style but the last yeah. hit. and I'm hit you can see the guy popping around the tree and uh, with a good shot takes Tiny out as well good show of sportsmanship there checking to make sure that we were okay we gave a good fight, but they were, we were well outnumbered. With that, it's Major Clanger out.